I'm your man, ladies. Stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I even say anymore, you know? This double peaked minimal solar maximum that went from bizarre to bizarre is befuddling. It does seem like a lot of activity from the sun has been directed towards Venus. Isn't that amazing? Oh, what was that? See, look at that. That is a long duration, large, what looks like a coronal mass ejection, pouring over Venus like a pitcher of Kool-Aid over ice. Ever since I made my Bruce Lee Enter the Sun Dragon video, the sun's been spitting off fire. Like a dragon in heat. Yeah, no, it's not fire, it's plasma. The sun goes crazy, and so do I. My jaw is dropping. The amount of activity that is happening on the sun right now is mind-bogglingly dumbfounding. I has found the dumb by looking at the sun. Pick an area, like right here, this whole section just rips away. Boom. And then over here, you've just got giant statues of tribute standing up on the sun. But... What is the by far the most bizarre is the coronal loops. I mean, they are now at sizes I've never seen before. The singularity is here, and wow, she's pissed off. The sun acting super freaky diggy isn't inherently bad. All it's been doing really is creating amazing rainbow clouds all over the world in some of the most amazing and consistent auroras we've seen in a while. It's been active three weeks solar wise and it'll be interesting to see that giant sunspot roll back around we've got filaments flying that dark matter i saw pouring out of there sun totems dying coronal holes they're so trippy i can't even find anything clever to describe them but the biggest most jaw dropping is, is the loops it's like they're taking poops see what i did there that's what she said see what i did there that's what she said see what i did there so you can loop it. Ooh, watch it just kind of grow and stick out. That is nutty. At the end, at the very end. Right there and over here. It's got like a form blazing sword. Wish we'd get a medium shot. Can you guys pull out, zoom out? She's so pretty in pink. Like 16 candles down the drain. Why? Don't ask why. Tell me why. Don't ask why. This is what I'm talking about, this, this huge loop. I did a video on it way back. It's stayed there and just been growing. I mean, look how big that loop is. What is going on? It appears to be totally snafu bar. Smoke them if you got them. Panic cuddling begins now. It's electrifying. It's hypnotizing. She's so pretty in pink. 16 candles down the drain. We haven't had a lot of solar flares in the last few days. Though we've had a super ton since the 25th of... October. I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> that is, are you watching this? And it seems like the, the dark area down here got darker somehow. Wow. I see the edge pop out twice. Whoa. Whoa. You know, if the sun affected our climate, I might be kind of worried. Nah, I'm kidding. I passed worry stage so long ago. Keep a particular eye on these moving lines. See how it's just kind of moving across like a water hose watering the flowers? It's kind of interesting, right? The sun has gotten so crazy. Even like NBC started paying attention. Well, if Sarah Eisen or Kelly Evans over at the MSNBC ever need any type of solar updates or catch up quick crash courses on how to be cool or learn about the sun, I'm your man, ladies. I say that under the impression neither are married. I mean, if they're married, I'll still teach them. It won't be as cheesy, but I love cheese. You know, if the world was ending soon, I would probably be like, well, 
I guess I should just try to enjoy it <laughs> as much as I can. It's always been my philosophy. Not always. I don't think I had many philosophies when I was a teeny tiny baby. I have no verifiable proof. But that is just, I mean, I don't know what to say. I would say, the harder she blows, that wouldn't be true. She hadn't blown in a long time. Sad face. I say that under the impression neither are married.